Hello best friend and a welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well girl you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys happy happy Monday. I hope you're having a really really good Monday. Monday. I hope that you know how grateful I am for you. Thank you so much for clicking on the video, for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. Girl, I am so damn freaking grateful. Um, you love my co-host, girl. He fell asleep. He was like, girl, I'm done with your bullshit, bitch. Um, listen, we got to talk. So happy Monday. Um, also, you guys, I am so excited because I'm doing like a... Okay, so I've been on this kind of like transformation um, I've lost a bit of weight and I am kind of uh, doing a lot of motivational and just real talks and conversations and, you know, having you along my journey and my members only. So the link is in the description. I will be doing videos daily about motivation and about different topics that, you know, will take me a very, you know, uh, it, it's deep. So, you know, if you want to come along in my journey, it's a wonderful way to support my channel. The link is in the description. Um, but yes, bitch, we got to talk. So listen, um, Justin Timberlake, girl, not only is his career giving Silence of the Lambs and it's giving bye, 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 and it's giving it's not going to be you and it's giving um, sometimes I run, sometimes I hide, sometimes your career is a flop. Listen, we got to talk, okay? Because um, he has definitely been on the move, girl. He's been performing. He's been to Cabo. He's been on red carpets with Pharrell, who is, by the way, like the freaking design head designer of Louis Vuitton now. I didn't know that. Um, but now, you know, there is a lot of talk with what is going on within his family, especially with his wife, Seventh Heaven, Jessica Biel. Um, allegedly, it's it's been a little bit rocky because she believes that, you know, that he deserves peace. He doesn't, you know, she doesn't believe in the backlash, nor does his NSYNC members believe that he deserves this backlash, allegedly. Um, and obviously he hasn't apologized. He hasn't said a thing, right? He hasn't even acknowledged Britney's words um, in this iconic book. If you guys have not read it, please make sure to go read it. Um, let me put it here. Um, no, but for real, he hasn't said anything. And, you know, it's really it's giving crickets like his career right like i feel like i feel like here's the thing you know with justin timberlake you know he's honestly and i'm not even trying to be shady but like i mean he really hasn't been like you know that huge for us to say like you know oh my god like you know what's going on girl like girl where he where has he been He's even done movies. I didn't know about the damn movies, bitch. They did not make the AMC, bitch. It is giving to be, okay? If you know, you know. Um, anyways, girls, so a PR um, management expert, Lisa Anderson. So she's one of the top PR people in Hollywood. And she's giving an insight on what, you know, what could maybe happen with Justin and his family. And I, I feel like I, I definitely wanted to read this to you guys because I fully agree that, you know, he, so, okay, this is what she says. She says that obviously, you know, he hasn't said anything. Um, and she had, you know, he did turn off his comments because obviously the Britney army, honey, they were army ying boo. You know, they were, they were, they were literally having fucking demonstrations in his comment section, bitch. They were not letting him slide, girl. They were telling him everything from ramen curly noodle, ramen curly noodled hair to, you know, bye, 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 boy band, Backstreet Boys is better. You know, it's just been like a whirlwind for him. Um, and she says that, you know, she doesn't believe that he can move on with his career or do any press or interviews or promote anything without being asked, you know, Britney questions. And I honestly feel like him and his team, like, I don't know if it's all the hair guy. I don't know if it's like his ego. Like, I don't really know what the hell is going on. But let me tell you something. It just takes one fucking statement, a real thoughtful statement. And I get it. You can't force people to apologize. But does he not understand that he is going to forever? Like, if he doesn't say anything, he's going to, this, this reputation is going to keep going. You know, it's going to keep going. And he's never going to be able to make a full comeback. And I tell you something, 
when his solo career goes down, because, you know, listen, if he stays quiet and just continues to perform his little songs, Cry Me a River and whatever, trust and believe it's not going to work out. And then who he's, he's going to call the four other members of NSYNC, because that will be the only time that he could fully have a huge comeback because I promise you guys there are so many in sync fans that I think that you know it was it would be it would be a success like it really would be a success I I, I even I would say it would be a success everybody loves nostalgia and not everybody is aware of what's going on right so um so anyways she also talks about how this could be causing you know um issues with the family. She says, I would not wish this controversy upon anybody, that poor family. I mean, I hope their marriage survives this. Um, listen, you know, I feel like if, if I was Jessica Biel, like, first of all, if I was Jessica Biel, girl, I would smile more. Okay. That's just the other, that's just one thing I wanted to say. I would smile more because girl, she looks mean. Oh, you know, those people that you just like walk by and you're like, she is giving evil stepmother vibes. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to go near her, honey. You do not want to bump your shopping cart near you because she will literally look at you up and down, look at your cart, judge you for the Twinkies you have in your fucking car, and then walk away and call you some fucking name, okay? That's what... Listen, the other day at the grocery store, bitch, I'm not even kidding. I was... I literally... Listen, when I go to the grocery store and I have some extra money, bitch, I feel like I'm at top of the world, girl, because I'm, like, going through aisle for... I, I am having a great time. My husband knows that when I'm in the grocery store, girl, it is my time to shine, bitch. I say hello to everybody. I have all, you know, all the supermarket people who work there, all the grocery people who work there. They love me. They know me by name. They're like, hey, Sebastian, what's the tea? Hey, Sebastian. And I'm like, not, not, much, not much, Ralph. Is there anything new? That, any new discounts? You know, we'll have a nice conversation. So I'm over here, you know, with my shopping cart. My husband's at the deli getting whatever. You know, he likes to hang out at the deli. I really don't know what that's about girl but i don't ask questions as long as he's not fucking with me and my time and during up and down the aisles bitch i don't give a damn what he's doing so i'm up and down the aisles i'm listening to music because you know they're always putting some like 90s 2000s so i'm like you know spice happy life ah uh, something to the left if you have any good time shake it to the right if you know and i'm just going up and down the damn aisle and this lady like i was at the chip aisle I was not going to get any chips because, you know, I'm on a little journey, um, which I talk about a lot. Um, I'm going to open up about what I eat and all that. So, you know, if you want those videos, go join the membership. Um, so I was I was I was just going to go see some popcorn because, you know, sometimes I like a snack. So I, I want to go see some popcorn. And I had some things in the cart, you know, because um, it, obviously it's my husband and me. And also, like, you know, sometimes we have friends over. So I like to have a little bit of something to offer my friends, you know. So I'm over here and I, I guess I look away and I bump it to her cart. And I'm like, you know, spice up your life. Oh, and I said, oh my God, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Like I, I, I didn't, ma'am, 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 I'm, I'm younger than you. Mind you, girl, she was not. Okay, boo. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And in my head, I'm like, what the fuck should I call you then, huh? Girl, bitch, like, damn, you know? And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, I, I hope you have a lovely day. Like, I'm ready to move on, girl. I'm ready to see these chips, the, the, the popcorn. And she just stands there and starts cursing me out, talking about how I need to go back to my country and all these things. I'm like, oh, okay, we're not gonna do this, girl. Like, I'm like, I, I, I said, I said, God bless you, ma'am. And I, I literally stopped and I was looking at the popcorn and she goes, you don't really need anymore a popcorn and I was like oh and I turned around I was like you have a blessed day because I really feel like you need it and I grabbed my popcorn and I just went away but I literally was telling you I was so like I've never I was like girl what is this like damn and then you know the, the worst part the worst fucking part about the whole thing is that it ruined my shopping trip because every single aisle I would go to I would literally see her and she would always be mumbling under her no he got another bag of something oh he shouldn't be eating that or and I was I was just like really bitch but you know what my mom taught me girl when people go low you go high and you walk on by girl so i just you know kept walking away and um of course at the cash register you know i'm here like in uh, cash register nine and she's in the 10 and she just looks at me and look like she i was like girl this girl's gonna follow us to the car so i told my husband i was like oh my god i told him you know like we gotta watch out with her in the parking lot and then you know when we were going in the parking lot she did say something under her breath i didn't hear her and i was like bless you and i just like walked by um but yeah girl uh how did I end up here? Oh my God. No, you guys, I'm not even kidding. I don't know how I ended up in this story time. 
Whoa, okay, interesting. I, girl, I don't know. If you're still here, which I, I don't think you are, girl, put a, a comment down below. Um, Jessica, oh yeah, Jessica Biel, girl, Jessica Biel. She does not look nice. She does not, so I would tell her, you need to smile more. And I, and I would also, you know, if I was Jessica Biel, I'd be like, listen, Justin, girl, I haven't been acting in a minute. Okay, I don't know if she has, so don't don't quote me on that. I, I need the seventh money, the seventh, <laughs> the seventh heaven money is running out, bitch. You, you got to go back on tour. So please apologize to Britney, I, I, at least for that. You know, at least, you know what? At least if you are running yourself just by your ego, at least fake it. Like at least fake it. Seriously, it's your karma, not ours, right? But I think a normal human being would have apologized by now, you know? And I don't want to hear, he apologized before. He apologized before this book came out. He apologized when she was still in a conservatorship. He apologized when Britney Spears' truth was not yet out, okay? So that does not count. You need to apologize if you really want to try and move on with your career. I don't think it's going to hurt his marriage. But listen, let me tell you something. If I was Jessica, I'd be like, you better not fuck this shit up. We have kids. We have mortgages. We have college tuitions. We have we have a lifestyle, okay? <laughs> or you're going to go back on stage. You're going to fucking do a perm. And you're going to start doing your old dance routines. Because Joy Fatone, girl, he cannot go very longer, girl. So you got to get on to it, bitch, okay? Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure to follow the membership. You're going to love it. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.